Smith had identified Crooks as a character of suspicion because they saw him with that rangefinder in that bag. And then, according to Fox News, sources say 10 minutes before Trump walked on that stage, the Secret Service supposedly changed their assessment. Instead of considering Crooks suspicious, they apparently upgraded his status to a threat. And yet, despite all of that, the ex-president was still allowed to step onto that stage. Why? That's a big question, right? According to another Fox report, the Secret Service agent in charge was actually on the phone with local and state police about this threat, about this guy, while the shooting was taking place. There were also reports that a sniper from a local tactical team had snapped a photograph of the gunner, saw him looking through a rangefinder, again, this is before the shooting, and then radioed that information in to a command post. ABC News reported that the shooter was spotted by Secret Service counter sniper teams 20 minutes before the gunshots rang out. And then there's reporting that a Butler Township police officer actually confronted the shooter, apparently was hoisted up to that roof. Crooks apparently spots him, points the weapon at the officer, who then lets go of his grip and drops eight feet to the ground. Now, Sloot defended this officer's action, saying, What's our country coming to? What's our country coming to? Well, can you imagine 10 seconds before that, that the president was looking straight at the gates, that Crooks first came on law enforcement's radar about, and this is approximation, but it seems to be about three hours before the shooting. 